recently for another special man um, that passed that I love dearly, my Gary. And that took me four shots at Jameson to get up there, and I only had one beer today. So. Um, but I also know him as Billy Top's really Uncle Bud. And this is Uncle Bud's sister, Marilyn, my mom. And you know, when I first really started getting to know Uncle Bud, it was when I was nine years old, and we moved back to the Bay Area from Southern California. And one of the things I remember is walking into his house for the first time and seeing lots of artwork. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I spent a lot of time on a sports field, but never saw anything like that. It was really inspiring. I don't have a creative bone in my body, but it was inspiring. Um, but you know, I'm standing here next to this picture right here, which is Harry and his father. And um, we call him Papu. And uh, we spent a lot of time together up in the Sierras, fishing on the Stanislaus River. And it was a very special time in my life to, to be involved with him. And, and as you can see, his father here, that was very special. Um, and you know, there was just a lot of different times in my life where we did things together. Um, there was one time when, after a, maybe a difficult day at school, and I think I got pummeled by somebody, my mom invited him over and he gave me a little self-defense lesson and taught me a little bit about boxing. And I know it's not probably something you guys would, uh, would, would know about, but, uh, but, but he was, you know, he was helpful. Um, and, you know, when we were younger, uh, I remember going to his loft over in Saratoga, hanging out with Murray, going across the street to the old theater there in Saratoga with the high back chair. You know, the first time we ever sat in a high back chair. We watched Laurel and Hardy movies, black and white over there. It was, it was pretty cool. But as, as I grew up and I married and had kids, and um, one of the things that, a couple of things he did for me that were very special. Um, I have a really, really nice bronze plaque in my backyard hanging up. And um, it's in memory of his uh, father, who I spent several summers with when I was a kid, fishing down in the Stanislaus, and he took a trout and, and, and put it, you know, shaped it on there, and it's in memory of, of his father, and it was, it was very special, and it hangs out there to this day, and I think about him all the time. Um, he also, um, my daughter Taylor, who's not here today, um, she's, she's the creative one in our family, and we would, we would go over and visit Harry, and usually involve sushi and beer, we'd meet over in Japantown, or I would grab it on the way over there. And we would uh, sit there and eat some sushi and have a couple of beers outside. Well, he let my daughter go in the studio and just play with whatever she wanted and paint or do clay. And um, it was very gracious, and he took some of those pieces and attached them to some of his artwork. And when it went to the foundry, those pieces were bronzed, and so she has that memory of him. And as, as all you know, he's a very special man, and we all loved him dearly. And so, sorry to see him go, and I'm, I'm very happy to see this, this crowd here today. So, thank you.